Hi, this is Dave Brichetti. I'd like to tell you about the Python web application introduction class that I'm offering. It's for students in grades 6 through 12 who are good at logical thinking and math and know how to use computers well and can type and have some experience with Python. Here's some specifics. The class is three hours, $40, and there'll be at most six students. The class is about making a web application, and I define that here and give some examples of a web application. And in Python, we can use a package called Flask to easily make simple web apps. And in the class, that's what we'll do. We'll review the Python that we need, We'll learn to use Flask. We'll practice making simple web applications like random joke and quote servers and a name picker. Um, we'll write programs to connect to the other students' web apps as if we were in a browser, but automatically. And then we'll begin to work on a more advanced web app like the one in the picture here that includes images and sounds. And we'll learn how computers communicate over networks and some tools to explore networking. At the end of the class, every student should have created a simple web app that others can run. There's setup instructions for the laptop. There are links to class materials, including source code that we'll be working on. Let's go to this notebook uh, directory, and in here there's some materials for the class, and I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of this. This section shows how simple it is to make a Flask program that's a web app. Let me switch over to PyCharm, and I have that program here. And you see it's just eight lines of code. And when I run it, there's a link I can click on here, and I go in my browser and it says hire from a web app. And I can change this if I want to to hello world, come back to the browser and reload and there it is. That's a very simple example. Here is a slightly more complicated one. Um, let me stop the other one and then I'll run this one. It says this, hi, and then this is the IP address that I'm coming from. And then it says, try joke, quote, or whoop. So we'll add joke. And now we get a joke. Here we can get a quote. These are computer science quotes. And then what was the other one? Whoop. The students probably don't know the Three Stooges, but there's a th stooge who does this. And it's a random number of whoops. I'm reloading the page here. Here's one that's a little bit shorter. Um, well, in terms of lines of code in the main Python program, but it does a little bit more. Um, let's imagine we have three students in the class, Jim, Sue, and Steve, and we want to be able to call on them um, randomly. So we put their names in a hat twice. And let me run this one. And you saw I picked Jim. And now I just reload each time I want to call on somebody. And when it gets to the end, it says there are no more names, and you can push the reset button, or you can just reload again, and it'll reload and uh, start again. This one produces HTML from templates, and this is what these files look like. This is where the HTML code is. 
this is the file that produces the page that you that you see and um, we'll teach this in the class um, let me stop this one and finally we'll start working on um, an adventure game here's an example of one and the students should make their own pictures either take pictures or find suitable pictures and sound files so this is supposed to be a scary pumpkin and from here you can go to the flying spaghetti monster and then you can go to the government spy camera these are just some things that I found um, at my house and in my neighborhood and then uh, a picture from a mountain bike trail um, and then you can go back so this is kind of a beginning of a game um, and this is what we lead up to. We won't get too far with this, but we'll have a good foundation for making a web app. That's the class.